Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day like me. I hope you guys are doing like me and either on your come up plan like Cardi B or they come back like Robert D. And if so, that's what's up. So, um, that being said, let's get right into it. I'll start that over. Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different Swole. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I'm so excited with you guys because I'm going to be sharing with you guys and close out of an honor of Black History Month, my last vlog. It's going to be uh, the uh, fourth uh, story time that I've been sharing with you guys from my book, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift. This is going to be the hypothetical paradigm shift I'm going to be showing with you guys. And so if, as I've been stating in all my previous videos or vlogs, if you will, uh, the book, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift, is a book that I've written to inform and encourage thought-provoking conversations about injustice and racism in America. And it's, gone, it's done through graphic and provocative illustrations. However, it's more than that. It's more than, you know, it, it meets the eye when you first look at it. And for those, like I stated, it's intended for a mature audience only. And so for those who are mature enough to make it through the first paradigm, four, first three paradigms I have, historical, political, and precedent, and can make it through hypothetical paradigm, then you will see the other points that I'm trying to make about the book and the other attempts that I'm trying to encourage, which is unity and compassion and coming together as one, you know, despite the color of our skin or our religious beliefs or whatever, you know, our differences may bring, you know, at the end of the day, we're all human. And so for that matter and that fact, at the end of the day, let's come together as one. And so for those who, you know, are, are, are uh, intrigued by my story times that I've been posting. I'm getting a lot of reviews, even though, you know, some may not, you know, put it in on, on YouTube, but even though I'm, I'm seeing some of the comments, uh, I do appreciate all the, you know, responses I am getting, good, bad, and ugly. Um, a lot of the people are, are responding just the way as I thought, you know, they're sharing their opinions about, you know, their thoughts on systemic racism, you know, what, you, what they think and how they feel. And so uh, the book is doing its job. And so, um, with that being said, and then close out of Black History Month, I'm so happy to share this with you guys. Last week, I shared um, the video or my vlog with my trip to the National Muse African American Museum in Washington D.C. back in November 2016. Uh, the first trip I took with my mother, and I tripped on the plane. So, uh, those was one of my favorite trips. R.I.P. Mom, I love you. Um, and so, with that being said, and want to hold you guys up. Let's get into it. And once we come back, I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in Difference World. And, she, and you know, again, people are about to cuss. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it, you know, professional with you guys. But like I said, what you see is what you get. And, you know, sometimes you're not going to be a little heathen and, and let off some shots. But with that being said, let's get into the video. And once we're done with that, make sure you guys like, share, and comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then uh, you uh, do so much. So here it is. Check it out. What if those police officers were held accountable for their quick action of killing innocent, unarmed citizens in America? What if close-minded people finally acknowledged that racism still existed in America and attempted to rectify the situation? What if hate groups such as the Ku Klux Klan and alt-right were denounced and banned in the United States of America? What if the Confederate flag and all statues of the Confederate leaders were banned and removed in all 50 states of America? What if those four presidents called into Mount Rushmore were replaced with the real original founding fathers of America? What if black people were finally given reparations for centuries of injustice and racial hardships they faced in America? What if racial profiling didn't exist in America? Wonder how many black people would still be alive today if biased people didn't race to profile it. What if close minded white people one day sat down with black people and had an open conversation about ways to acknowledge and overcome adversities of systemic racism in America? What if all lives can't matter until the racist people of America acknowledges that a black person's life matters just as much as theirs? What if someday colorblinded, aka closed minded white people came together with open minded black people and worked on ways to combat systemic racism in America and bring forth systemic change? 
These changes may never come to pass during these times, but what if this was the generation that plants the seed for the next? What if it was because of our generation the next generation sees systemic change instead of systemic racism? Hmm. What if? What if a controversial paradigm shift available now at differenceworld.net that's d-i-f-e-r-n-t-s world.net parental discretion is fully advised hey everybody welcome back i hope you guys enjoy listening to or excuse me not listening to but watching and listening to uh my fourth story time with you guys in for the excuse me hypothetical paradigm shift of my new book what if a controversial paradigm shift here it is y'all y'all know y'all been waiting on this so again my book what if a controversial paradigm shift is again a book that's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America and I've done it through provocative and graphic illustrations you know some illustrations that's gonna you know ruffle your feathers or so it's okay but um it's also this book that's meant to make you think and often you know plant the seeds and hopes to stimulate the talks that that brings systemic change and so uh those who are interested please go to my website differenceworld.net and get your copy of my new book what if a controversial paradigm shift and again please be advised that this is a grown folks only type of book so parental advisory is strongly advised however again um uh, it's definitely a book that you can read along with your kids and explain to them the history and, and and what's going on in present time and what can happen for the future if you know we come together it's also another point about the book that i've written like i said it you know um in an attempt to create systemic change this book you know may be the book that plants the seed for you know the next generation to talk about that and so what if you know nothing be so failure but a try and so here i am trying and so with that being said, make sure you go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy. And then go run and tell your friends to get their copies. And before they know it, they'll be telling their friends to get themselves a copy of What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. And so um, I think that's, you know, a, a, a irony of it all, bringing it together and with it being, you know, the close out of Black History Month. Uh, it's a perfect time to, you know, talk about these issues and, and the possibilities of, of, of what can happen when we, you know, start to talk about, you know, things that need to be worked on and taking accountability for it and acknowledgement about it. And and so <laughs> what if? That's that's the main question for me. That's always a question that I hate living with. What if? And so that's for me. That's why I, I have to go for mine because I, I can't live with what if. And so I don't know about you guys out there listening. But for those out there, you know, who, who feel like I feel, uh, that that's why you, you have to be on that come up like Cardi B or that come back like Robert D. There is no more in between. And so for those out there who's sitting on the sidelines, sitting there wondering this and that, that's going to eat away at you for the rest of your life until you get up off the sideline and go get what's yours. And so with that being said, I'm going for mines. <laughs> and so... Um, Thank y'all guys so much. Uh, also, I want to close out and end message to for Black History Month, uh, for a reminder for my, my people in the culture, the black culture, for us, you know, uh, it's, it's such an honor and a pleasure, you know, talking about issues and bringing it to light, you know, uh, our gritty past and, and not forcing them to, to take accountability of what's been done, but reminding them and not letting them forget you know where we came from and what we've gone through and where where we we have to go and where we've been. I don't know if I'm making sense on that or not, but in essence of my message of what I'm trying to say for us now and and, and Pacific, I'm for all people, but for my people right here, this message is for you. Um, never forget where we come from. You know, we are descendants of ancestors and our ancestors of kings and queens, and we are ourselves kings and queens, and we have crowns on our heads. Let us remind one another that we have crowns on our heads that are trying to knock each other crowns off our heads and let us come together as one. Um, yes, I'm talking about, you know, how the white folks used to treat us back in the day and with my book, but in, in the message to you guys and what we're going through in our own community, let us come together and stick together and, and, and it's been a message that's been, you know, talked about for so long, even with, you know, the Black Panthers and, and so on and so on, NAACP, you know, unity and coming together within our community. That's still something, you know, that needs to be taught down the line. So uh, for those out there listening, that's a part of the culture. Let us love one another. 
Let us, you know, remind each other that we are kings and queens. Let us not hold each other back or down and, and stick together and just come up like how we're supposed to be. And so uh, with that being said, I want to say the message is entitled to everybody out there, you know, in, in spirit of brotherhood, you know, and coming together, you know, just because, you know, we're all human and, 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 and have gone through things personal wise, you know, in similar things such as such as mental health issues. And so whether you be black or white, you know, we've all, you know, somehow dealt with depression or any, any such things of that nature. And so we're all one and the same and, and such. And so... I don't want to, you know, get too deep off into the topics, you know, because I have other vlogs I talk about with those issues. But this, I feel, you know, in close out of Black History Month, uh, that that's definitely something that needs to be addressed in regards to, you know, systemic racism. And, and as far as, you know, black culture, making sure we stand strong within ourselves and loving on ourselves and continuing to get our mental health in check. That is the utmost important thing I feel within the black community that needs to be worked on an issue within ourselves, getting our mental health in check. And so for all my black kings listening that's struggling with all any type of mental issue or anguish, again, it's okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Go talk with somebody. Go pick up a hobby. Go do what you have to do to get yourself in check because we need you. So. As, and, and, and others out there listening as well, but specifically, like I said, you know, in, in close out of Black History Month, you know, I got to represent. So <laughs> it is. Um, what else, you guys, coming up? Uh, next month is the March of March. So March Madness. Woo woo. I got so many videos coming to you guys. So be on the lookout for that. I have two travel logs. Um, I real side note, I know I said I was going to do uh, Colombo first, but I think being at the March of March, I think it's appropriate to drop my trip to Ireland first and so I'm going to share that with you guys and then I'm going to post Colombo. Um, my next uh, vlog I think I got coming is going to be a, a podcast interview I did with a lovely young lady by the name of Nakisha Prince Haynes as well as I'll do an International Women's Day vlog as well. So a lots and lots and lots coming you guys so be on the lookout for that. I thank you guys so much for all your love and support and, and, and it keeps me going and keeps me motivated. Like I said, here at Third Eye Entertainment, we try to bring social awareness to society through our products and services, which we educate, motivate, and entertain you guys all at once. And so uh, I'm so happy and proud to say people are, you know, are, are receiving what we're giving. And so thank you guys so much. And don't forget, whatever it is in life that you want, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And it will surely come to you. Different as well. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustrations. What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.